This is a Train XL 1200 AC. It's about 20 years old. And um, the symptom is that when I would uh, flip the breakers on, it would take about a few seconds and then flip off. And I've actually seen this problem before. I have two of these units. I've actually fixed this problem on this unit before, but I wanted to document it for other people because it's it's a common problem in these units. Um, it's a great unit. It's you know it's been 20 years old and it's still working. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that on YouTube that uh, it's going to be this capacitor that's bad, but in my experience, the symptom when you flip the breaker and it just flips off in a couple of seconds, what's happening is at first it's charging that capacitor and then it's sensing the short circuit. Um, and so here's this wire here. Uh, I've actually patched this wire in the past. These wire nuts here, these are actually my job um, because this has happened before the wires broke. Um, what happens is that you can see the wires have just completely shorted out. And um, this, this is the heater here. Those wires go into there. You might even possibly be able to see there's, there's leads in there. And um, so I'm gonna have to replace this sump heater again. And um, also another thing that I found that was wrong, and I don't know at what point this happened, but down here, you can see there's this, it's actually a thermostat, and this had actually fallen off of this pipe. And apparently what this thermostat does is the thermostat will prevent the sump heater from kicking on if the unit is on or, I don't know, at certain temperatures where it doesn't need to be on. And so this had fallen off completely. And so what was probably happening is the sump pumper pump was going, uh, heater was going when it didn't need to. And so there was too much, too much use on this heater. And so it eventually burned out. So I'm gonna have to get a replacement part, order it. And uh, I'll show a video of how this thing attaches. It's, it's rather hard to see on the underside of the unit. But what happens is that this, pipe below the unit there's a small tube and it just inserts into there um, and there's also this little metal clip here that goes around the heater to I guess keep it in place but anyways I'm gonna have to get the new part and then I'll show you how that goes in I've installed the heater and I've actually powered it on so we can make sure that the heater is working see down here how it slides into a slot and I've got the metal clip surrounding it and while we're down here here's that thermostat and I've zip tied it on just for double safekeeping and let's take a look thermos thermal check of this heater there we go. And you can see it's 100, over 100 degrees, 125 or so, just right where that heater is. Ambient temperature is about 70 degrees here. And then I've got all of this zip tied up. And I've got the connectors on there again. So we are all good to close this thing up now. And that is pretty much the whole job.